The next thing I'm going to do is to set up my keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to make a couple changes. The reason I only use these two bar toolbars here is because I want to make sure I use the keyboard shortcuts in a mouse. It makes me much more efficient. So the first thing, I want to show you why I'm going to set it up. So if I'm going to go to here and I'm going to hit the R for record, it will start recording and I hit the space bar to stop and that's fine. But say I have my mouse here for some reason and I hit the R button again, it will start recording on a new track and at the location I was at. And I don't want that. That means I have to take this guy, hit F5, drag him down, put him here, or put him up here, and it's, then I have to delete him, and it's a lot of work. So I'm going to make this so when I record, it will record to the end. I'm going to hit F1 to go back to my select. So when I record, it will go to the end down here. The other thing that's a little frustrating is when you're trying to mark verses or anything, if I hit the space bar, it'll start, start playing, and when I hit the space bar, it will jump back to where it started. I want the space bar to stop when I hit the stop button. So when I go along, stop, I want it to stop and stay right there. So I'm going to show you how I make those two changes. I go to Edit, go under Preferences, and I'm going to go down to Keyboard. Now I know that the one I want is underneath Transport. And I want to come down and you will find here the R, the Record, and you'll find Record Append. So I'm going to click on here, the record, and I'm going to take him and I'm going to clear him. And I'm going to want to change him to Shift R. So if I say Shift, hold the Shift and the R, and I hit Set, I say you can't do that because something else is assigned to it. Oh, the record append. So I need to go to record append and I need to clear him. Now that I remove the R from here, and I don't have the Shift R there, I can come in here, click down below, hit the R, hit the Set, come up to here, make sure you come down to this box here, Shift R, Set, and now I switch those. I didn't have to switch this to Shift R, but I like to keep that in there. So now when I hit the Record, it will append it to the end. The other one is underneath Commands. If I scroll on down here, you'll find this Stop this play stop and play stop and set cursor. I want to take this guy, I want to clear him, go to here, clear him, and I want to make this one the space bar. So I'm going to go to here, I'm going to hit the space bar, I'm going to hit set. I'm going to go up here and I want that, it was shift A, so I'm going to go shift A and I'm going to hit set. Click OK. Now here I'm going to do a recording and before, when I had my mouse here and I hit the R button, it started a new track down here and it started recording. But now, when I hit the R, it will jump to the end and it will start recording on the end. So let's watch. I hit the R and it started recording on the very end. So let's do that again. I'm going to hit here. I'm going to hit the R and it started recording on the very end. Now, if I take it and I move over to the side here and I'm beyond it, it will start recording at this section right here. It will fill in this section here with silence and it will start recording. So if I hit R, it will start recording afterwards. So it will append it afterwards. The other thing too that we changed is when I had this and I had the, hit the space bar and it was playing. And when I hit the stop, it used to jump back to here. Now it stops when I hit the stop button where I hit the stop button, the space bar. So I'm going to go a little bit farther. And it started space, and then all of a sudden it stops right there. Another shortcut that I want to add that I forgot when I did the original recording here is if you go under File, see Apply Chain doesn't have a shortcut out here. So I want to add a shortcut for that because I use that quite often. So I go back under Edit, Preferences. Okay, I go, that was under the File, so I go under File, Go down to the bottom and you will find Apply Chain, and there's nothing here. I know that Control shift q is available. I hit Set, click here. Okay, now when I go under File, you'll see Apply Chain, and you'll see Control shift q So if I click on here, or if I do the Control shift q all of a sudden, 
the apply chain comes up and I can use that feature.